Today's video is brought to you by the Motherboards.org Gaming Deal of the Week. Yes, Crisis, the original, get the maximum version that includes the original Crisis, Crisis Warhead, and Crisis Wars, all for under $10. Check out the link in the description below. Welcome back, techaholics, tech addicts, and tech junkies. I'm Elric Ferris, here to bring you your daily fix of technology. Now, you guys have been asking for it ever since we did the unboxing. Now, we're bringing you it, the full review of the AVA Direct Cleveland W1110ER Ultra Portable Gaming Laptop. Now, this particular one is what they call a quick ship, which means you can just go in, quickly configure it, and it'll be shipped to you in seven days. They also offer custom configurations if you'd like to get that as well. It just takes a little bit longer. This company is located in Ohio. They make all kinds of custom systems for gaming, for portability, just all kinds of stuff. If you guys want to check them out, their link is in the description below. That said, let's jump in and let's check out this really cool Clevo W1110ER and see what it's all about. All right, folks, let's talk about the nomenclature first and the specs of this laptop. This laptop is called the Clevo W110ER. It's the Core i7 Ultra Portable Gaming Notebook. The screen is an 11.6 inch HD glossy LED LCD, which features a resolution of 1366 by 768. The CPU is the Intel Core i7-3610QM, which is a quad-core 2.3 GHz CPU, which has turbo boost up to 3.3 GHz. Also features the internal HD Graphics 4000. It also features the NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M, which has 2 GB of GDDR3 memory. Now, as far as the system memory goes, there are two 8GB modules, which are 16GB of Patriot DDR3 1333 MHz SD RAM, which is so dim memory. Now, as far as system storage goes, this laptop features something really neat. It features the Seagate 750GB Momentus XT. Now, this is their hybrid drive, which features a 7200 RPM hard drive with 8GB of SSD cache. For network connectivity, you get two different options. For your standard RJ45 connection, that uses the Realtek chipset, and then for your wireless, uses the Intel Centrino Advanced N6230 wireless and Bluetooth module. This is a great option for those people who do a lot of traveling and don't always want to plug their laptop in. The connectivity on this is actually very good and has a wide connection range. Last but not least, the model that we got came configured with Windows 7 Professional, the 64-bit edition with SP1. These laptops come into market configured at about $800, but with the one that we did, we custom configured everything on it all the way from the top to the bottom. We got a better CPU, we got more memory. The one that we got was $1,380.22 and took about seven days to get here. Now with that said, let's take a look at the outside, aesthetics of the laptop, and then move into the performance. Right in the very front of the laptop, you can see that there's a card reader. There's also a blinking light that shows you the battery and that the laptop's actually engaged. Then we're gonna spin the laptop around to the side. You can see that you have your Kensington little lock there. Next to that, you have a standard USB 2.0 connection. Then next to that, you have the power. The back of the laptop is very sparse. There's absolutely no connections whatsoever on there. And the way that the top of the laptop screen is connected to the laptop is one where the cable will not break. So a lot of times when you're lifting the laptop screen back and forth, the wires that are inside there get broken because of the way it's made. This one features a superior design and that won't happen. We're gonna spin around to the last side. We have our LAN port. We have a VGA connection, our HDMI connection. Then we have the headphones the microphone, and then lastly, two USB 3.0 connections. Now we're gonna open the laptop up, pop the screen up. We can see all the information right there, the NVIDIA Optimist, it's THX, features the GeForce GT 650M, got the little AVA Direct logo. Next we can see the keyboard, it's very flat. This keyboard's actually not that hard to type on. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it is, and it actually types pretty decent for as small it is. Next up, we can see all the indicators up on the left-hand side of the laptop, and then to the far right of that, the power button. Up above that, you guys can see the screen. Like we said before, this is an 11-inch ultra-glossy screen. Features a resolution of 1366 by 768. And then lastly above that, we see the built-in webcam. That way, if you want to take funny pictures of yourself and send them out to your relatives, it's all there. 
now that we've shown you the aesthetics, we've shown the specifications, let's jump in and let's check out some benchmarks. We didn't run the standard variety of benchmarks, there's really nothing else to compare it to, but we did run a few for you. We ran Cinebench, which did pretty well on, ran 3D Mark, did pretty well on that. We also ran Fermark, where you can see that the laptop got up to 78 degrees Celsius under full load. Now we also have a couple different things. We did gameplay on the big screen TV. Then we also did some gameplay showing you guys the resolution at 1366 by 768 in some live gameplay. Here's some from Battlefield 3. And then here's some from Diablo 3. As you guys can see, it plays everything very, very well. Diablo was kicking out frame rates of over 100 frames per second. That was everything set to its maximum value. That's really kicking butt. Battlefield 3 was playing on high at almost 40 frames per second. And on Ultra, we had it to about 26. So this thing really pumps out the graphics. You can see that the 650M processor combined with the Intel HD 4000 really does a good job of pumping out the graphics in games. Now, as far as battery life goes, the laptop lasted anywhere from three to three and a half hours, just depending on the circumstances. And like we said a couple of minutes ago, as far as the heat goes, a lot of people have asked this, it was getting 78 degrees, which is, you know, quite warm. It will not burn your lap or anything, but I would suggest if you're gonna play for hours and hours on end, you should probably put it on something with a cool on it, just to keep it running really cool and make sure that the integrity stays there with the laptop. Now, just a quick sum up. Laptop comes into market at about $1,300. This was a quick ship. You can also get a custom configure one, takes a little bit more time. But at the end of the day, this thing does what it's supposed to do. It plays games. It's ultra portable, lasts for three to three and a half hours, 78 degrees Celsius, not bad, price under $1,400. All in all, an editor's choice here on motherboards.org. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys back here next week.